Ugh. Hi everyone. We are going to talk about my injury and in excruciating detail. As much excruciating as I am in pain right now. So get yourself a cup of coffee, tea or a glass of water just like me. And let's get started. If you are new to my channel, you would not know what Chatting Sunday is. So basically I do a segment here and, and I have been pretty irregular with this segment. Um, Chatty Sunday is where I just sit down in front of camera, have a cup of coffee, tea or, or milk or water or whatever I want to put in that cup and just take a few sips and, and pick a topic and just chat with you guys. It's almost like a zoom call it's just that only you can't participate i <laughs> i have i have the platform here so i can speak on whatever i want i am showing my face on youtube after a really long time uh something it almost feels like centuries to me because i'm very used to coming in front of camera two to three times a week now and, and filming so uh why i didn't film uh, videos with my face on had a couple of reasons uh, behind it. Uh, a, it was YouTube fatigue. So what happened was I posted every single day of December, and of course that like really took a toll on me. Uh, making that much content every single day, whether it was a YouTube short or a video, it was just a lot. So I thought that I post once a week, um, and while I was going on that schedule, I broke my knee. So on 13th, what happened um, on Friday morning, it was so silly how I got injured. It was not like that I was in an accident or I fell down or nothing like that. I just got up and I got up in a hurry because I was a little late. So every single day, 10, 10 a.m., I start my work. But at that time, I think I got up at like 9.45 or something, which is late for me. And I was in a, in a rush and in a panic. And I just got up and I turned in bed and my knee um, got displaced. So um, for the uninitiated, uh, I have never spoken about my knee injury on this channel, but I have a perennial knee injury in which uh, my knee gets dislocated or displaced every once in a while. It has happened about six times since I was 12. Yes, the first time it happened was when I was 12. And usually people associate knee disorders and knee injuries with old age. But I have always had this problem. Maybe, you know, the biological makeup of my knee is not that, is, is a little bit, you know, uh, abnormal. Maybe that's why it happens. I don't know. So, yeah, so that happened. And after that, I went about my day. I was a little scared because whenever it happens, it becomes a huge deal. And then, you know, for weeks, I have to go through that ordeal. So I was taking care of my knee. You know, I was walking slowly. I was, you know doing my uh, hot compress and cold compress and whatever doctor told me to do and I was doing that um, and the first two three days actually were not that hard you know it was Friday and then there was two days weekend so I rested a lot and I thought that by Monday I should be fine but you know as soon as I felt like I was being I was getting funny the pain just sort of recom recommenced and it took a different turn and um my knee started really like it, it almost felt like my knee was so feeble that it couldn't bear the weight of my body and i was i was very 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 shocked i was like uh, ab main kya karu uh, how to deal with this it's been about 15 16 days and it's just a lot so basically always wearing a knee cap is has become my uh, my outfit of the day and this little guy has become my best friend and of course I have an ice bag and I have a whole paraphernalia of things that I use, um, a lot of medicines that I'm having, I'm always in pain, um, uh, it, it, you know even turning in bed, bed has become very very difficult. So because I was in that kind of headspace, I was not posting videos with my face on and hence I posted what I eat in a day which was obviously filmed over a week. Then. Um, I posted um, the Sex and the City episode where I talked about how Carrie gave me a very um, a very disheveled or sort of delusioned picture of my 20s or how my 20s should look like. Uh, and uh, after that, I posted a very, I think, a video that's really close to my heart, which is basically um, a Ladakh scenes with my dear friend who went to Ladakh and his photographs. And I put my 
my commentary behind that, which was on self-love. So all of these were filmed while I was injured and I couldn't really face the camera because, you know, if you are in pain, if you are in discomfort, that sort of shows on your on your face. And it's very hard to to, to bifurcate that and still work. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I'm at. It's. You know, what I have really learned after, after facing this six times in my life in the past 14 years is that injury is one thing. You have to, you know, for even for simple things like Abhi Mahape, if something is kept there, if I have to get it, uh, I'll have to ask someone. And that kind of thing is really, really annoying. But what I've learned is that injury or uske jo physical implications are one thing. But with that, the mental implication of your mental health is a different drama, it's a different story. I mean, you know, uh, I was I had not taken an off from my office, so I work about eight to ten hours every single day, Monday to Friday. Um, then I have this YouTube channel, or जो मैंने videos बनाए उसमें मेरा face नहीं था, लेकिन उन्हें बनाने में पूरा एक एक हफ्ता गया है. वो अलग बात है कि उनको बहुत ही poor response मिला and it really hurt me. Um, you know, anyways, I never, I'm not a YouTube whatever but sensation <laughs> I, I struggled to even get 100 views but those were even struggling to get 50 views and that was just like um none of my videos have done this badly as those three has have so um yeah it really hurts when you're injured when you're sitting in the bed when you have you're literally doing ice compressed at the same time you're editing if those videos don't do well it really hurts it's very difficult to focus and keep giving your best and keep doing your best when you are in pain and discomfort. So, your mental health, it, it, it goes for a toss. Um, and of course, you know, my mother is there. She's been lovely. She helps me through everything. Um, you know, my parents have been very, very kind. And they understand, you know, they have been through this with me. Nobody understands this as much as they do. They have seen this problem happening in my knees since I was 12 years old. So now I am like, I'm slowly, slowly learning. Like literally, I feel like I'm a baby again, and I have to learn how to how to walk again. I I've forgotten how to walk without limping. So now I'm trying to do that. You know, yesterday I didn't feel pain. Yesterday I went. Yesterday I went five minutes normal. I was very happy. And today, yesterday night, there is so much pain that I just I feel like I can't do anything. I feel like I'm not going to be able to do anything. So, I'm not going to be able to do anything. But, I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to So, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever broken a bone, if you guys have ever been on, have ever been bedridden because of an injury. How do you feel? And, and please give me some tips as to how to keep my mental health pepped up even while injured. I've been sitting for about 10 minutes in this position and this isn't suiting me. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm trying to do my best and I'm trying to, you know, not cry. I think the, you know, I always say that I should become our best version. Banna I think right now, the best version of my injured self is one person who does not cry and who is not in permanent pain. I think these two versions are my best, so I'm trying to do that. If I don't have a breakdown in the entire day, I am fine. So please tell me, the only good thing that I'm trying to do for my mental health is I'm trying to tell myself that it is temporary. I'm trying to tell myself that I'll be able to walk again. I'm trying to tell myself that this injury does not define me. All of this doesn't work after a particular extent, because if it's happening, it's happening. And I'm trying to embrace that and I'm trying to give myself that bandwidth. Ki rona aa hai, toh uh, toh wo karne ki koshish kar rahi hume. Uh, meri ghutne ki chodo, meera bhoat hi chhattis ka aankhda hai. Aur mujhe pata hai ki 
ये डर कि मेरा नी डिसलोकेट हो जाएगा मुझे इस डर में शायद पूरी लाइफ जीना पड़े और ये बहुत रेस्ट्रिक्टिंग भी है क्योंकि यू नो डांस एंड एथलेटिक्स एंड बहुत सारी दूसरी चीज़ें जो मैं अपनी लाइफ में शायद करती वो मैं नहीं कर पाई बारह साल की थी तब से आई एम लिविंग इन दिस कॉन्स्टेंट फ्यूर एंड कॉन्स्टेंट पेन बट एम अगेन एज एस एट आई एम ट्राइंग फॉर दिस इंजरी टू नॉट डिफाइन मी एंड फॉर नॉट फॉर इट टू नॉट लिमिट मी बियॉन्ड एन एक्सटेंड and i would want to live a fuller life even in even in the light of this injury so that's my aim and that's my goal to ye main karne ki koshish kar rahi hu aur main aapko batati rahungi ki main kya bina limp karke kab chal payi hu mera dard kab khatam hua kab main finally seedhi chad pa rahi hu without any discomfort i'll keep you guys updated and yeah i hope it was just a very raw sort of like a brain dump video and i hope you guys liked it i always always love coming in front of camera and just being a friend and personal with you guys i'll see you guys on my next one till then you know keep being the best version of yourselves give yourself a break give yourself a room to breathe and at the